Slain former BJP Neta's wife and son are offering prayers at Varanasi's temple. We are talking about Krishna Nand Rai. He was a BJP MLA who had defeated Mukhtar Ansari's brother in Uttar Pradesh elections in 2005. He was shot dead by a gang that was led by Mukhtar Ansari where uh, the convoy of the MLA was ambushed and 500 rounds were fired at him, killing him on the spot. After Ansari's death, that has been confirmed as a cardiac arrest by the medical administration. The family of the BJP MLA Krishna Nandrai, who had faced an untimely death, they are seen offering prayers. Ansari had been accused of killing the former BJP MLA Krishna Nandrai. So these are the visuals in Banaras of, of the family, of the uh, mother, of the wife and the child, we are told. I want to bring in Samarch Srivastav from Banda in Uttar Pradesh. Banda is where the post-mortem is currently going on. That's where the body is. That's where he was lodged in the prison. And then it, uh, the mortal remains will be taken to the family after more details come in. Samarth, you know, of course, the, the death has come as cardiac arrest. There is a pol political showdown. There is an inquiry that's happening. But for the family of Krishna Nandrai, who had won fair and square in an assembly election, to be shot dead in broad daylight and charged against his Mukhtar Ansari. For that family watching also, perhaps a lot of emotions must be going through their mind right now. Well, exactly, Pooja. A lot of emotions will be going through the minds of Krishna and the uh, Raya's family because he was the BJP MLA, MLA back then and was the competitor for Mukhtar Ansari's political arena. And that's why Mukhtar Ansari and his gang killed him mercilessly. We saw how the, the, his gang ambushed him and his convoy and, and in a way uh, in a way wounded him badly and not just that when he was shifted to the hospital then again firing happened and it all happened in the broad daylight so this was the scare of Mukhtar Ansari and his gang in Mau in Ghazipur and in the in the in the belt of Purvanchal of Uttar Pradesh so yes that's why the family has reached Varanasi's Kashi Vishwanath temple and are offering prayers even the family was happy yesterday with the, with the death of Mukhtar Ansari, though it happened due to the cardiac arrest, but the family uh, was in Varanasi and offering prayers at the Kashi Vishwanath. So it is very clear what uh, Krishnan Rai could have gone through. But if, if you talk about the Mukhtar Ansari family, then Sivaktullah Ansari and Soeb Ansari and his uh, Mukhtar Ansari's son all are claiming that uh, this is not a sudden death, this has been a conspiracy by the government and slow poison was offered in the food due to which. Mukhtar Ansari and, and the lost family his life. has also been it's known it's to it's say it's about it's Mukhtar Ansari that he was not a saint and that there were gangster credentials that were well known. He was one of the big drug, dreaded gangsters of his time, specifically late 90s and early 2000s and used his muscle power then in political domain. In fact, I stand corrected. I want to mention here that in 2023, he was also sentenced, Ansari was sentenced to 10 years in jail in a Gangsters Act case in connection with the murder of Krishna Randrai, who was the BJP MLA. So, it's all out in the open and for, for the family of Krishna Nandrai, remember, that conviction clearly coming so late in the day because Mukhtar Ansari had had political patronage of the uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav government of the time.